Because we're opening yeah. up. This is the podcast start. Woo! Episode Woo! four of a podcast. Yo, that's pretty pop champ, not gonna lie. Yeah, because don't get loud. <laughs> okay, we we have things to discuss. Now let's get down to business. This monkey is he's um, getting ready. He's getting he's 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 in his business outfit. He's getting ready to do his stonks. His eye stonks. Me daughters. He's getting yeah. ready to do his eye stonks. <laughs> okay. Yeah. What? What are you talking about? Oh, the e- e- Kreno plane, I think it's called. Oh, the Soviet yeah. Union developed it. Oh no. And it's the size. It's a ship the size of a commercial airliner, but it it's also like a commercial airliner. <laughs> but it's a ship. <laughs> Wait, I have a question. So, like, when was this built? Like in the sixties. Oh, okay, okay. So when Soviet Russia was a thing. Okay, okay now I have a question. <laughs> Questions. Does this thing like take off from the water or something? It's no, like, it doesn't oh, take no. off. It's just a really fast boat. <laughs> oh. Wait, so I thought this was like a boat plane, like it just, you know. No, it's no, it's just a boat, but plane. No, they engineered it. They engineered it to look like a plane, but it's actually a ship. Oh. Why? And it never takes off. Boat plane. Why? Boat plane. Because they just wanted a fast ship. There's only one in existence that I know of. Wait, so they 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 have they a boat plane. A ship would be a ship that looks like a plane. Duh. Yeah. Don't you know the. F- don't you know? Don't you know the fastest car it's, in the world is the car that looks like a hamburger. It's a very fast ship, but it's not practical. But not any old hamburger, a Krabby Patty. Speaking huh, of that's very interesting. Well, we're, we're Krabby Patties. Ooh, Krabby Patties. Michael, I have a question for you. Okay. Why did you say you despise SpongeBob? Yeah. Um, because I watched it every day as a kid because I was only allowed to watch Nickelodeon and now I hate Spongebob. Well, well I don't see a reason why oh. you'd hate it, though. Yeah, is there, like, a specific reason or is it just because you watched it too much? I just watched it too much. Rip. So if you watch it now, would you hate it? Mm-hmm. Why? I, I tried watching it the other day. I could not. Ugh. Oh, my God. Ugh. But Spongebob is so good. Like, yeah. that's what you say. Michael, why, like, why won't, like, you're not even giving it another chance. You're just going in, like, I'm hating, I'm gonna I have this. tried, dude, no, I watched, you were like, going two hours. I just, like, I'm gonna I watched, hate like, this. two hours of Spongebob, and I just hated all two hours of it. Why? Like, is, like, is it just because you watched it too much? There's, like, no other reason why you don't like it? Yeah. Even if you've seen, seen an episode, you haven't seen it before. I hate the new episodes. I don't like what they did with the characters. Okay, so you'd watch old old episodes. episodes. You would watch old episodes, though. I don't want to watch those either because I've seen all of them. There's just no way you can get me to watch SpongeBob again. I don't see why you would hate it. You've seen the SpongeBob movie. I haven't seen this new Spongebob movie. I would like to see that. No, not the new one. Not the new one. Oh. The old one. Yeah. Oh, that's new one. Okay. With David Hasselhoff. I make an they... exception, all right? How can you... You said you were a goofy goober. How can you be a yeah, goofy Yeah, you can't goober be a goofy goober if you don't, you don't like Spongebob. Like Spongebob. And B, you haven't even seen the movie where that came from. Oh, that movie! Yeah, I've seen that movie. Wait, did you? So you said, yeah, yeah. I make an exception without even realizing what movie we're talking about, man. <laughs> yeah, there's the SpongeBob movies. Then there's the new SpongeBob movies. But then there's the SpongeBob movie. You see, you see, you understand. Yeah, I understand. You picking up what he's putting down? Yeah, 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 yeah. You're not very, you're not very goofy goober right now. I'm gonna be honest. Michael, you're you not said very you were goober, goober right now. You know what? You know uh, what? Because just because of that, I'm just gonna watch PC build videos while you guys talk. Whoa, man! You said we were gonna talk about PCs. Yeah. You, you... Whoa, whoa! Now you're putting words into my mouth. No, we're no, we're saying we're, we're, we're quoting you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Quoting's like you know I could talk for PC for hours. You you said that. Yeah, and like this monkey, he, you, he, we, you know a lot about PCs. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually, I'm actually, uh, working on upgrading my computer. Oh, oh. tell us about that. 
Yeah. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with a new cooling solution for my CPU because you know, eight cores, sixteen threads. You gotta get that nice and chilly, right? Forty-eight yep. cores. What? Do forty-eight cores and no balls? I cannot afford that. Um, <laughs> it's loud. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna get a new cooler. I'm gonna get the uh, the Dark Rock Pro Four. Hmm. Um. You don't want to go uh, liquid cooling. I I don't have room in my current case. Mm. Wait. So um, you're revamping, but you don't want to get a new case. Yeah, I kind of, I kind of like my case. All right. Ah, there's fair. so much hair in my eyes. Cat, why do you shed so but much? I was looking at getting a case around your size. Mm. Mm. Well, don't get the same one. Yeah. Oh no 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 no! I hate the look of your case, but um. Whoa whoa whoa! whoa, whoa. <laughs> I'm joking. Whoa, I'm joking. Whoa whoa! whoa. <laughs> I'm Yo, am I gonna have to have a you right now? Case, but it doesn't look bad. <laughs> Dude, don't make me don't make me haboob you right now. You're a great friend, and I don't want to haboob you. Okay. 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 Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll put away the gun now. Be careful, man. Yeah, I'll, I'm, I'm probably gonna the get gun for now. Uh, probably gonna get an X570 motherboard upgrade to that. Um, that um, way. It, what company is that from? AMD. Microsoft. Or, or I no, the motherboard is gonna be an MSI Dell. board. A Dell computer. You you have to steal it from you the Dell. You betrayed computer. me for the final time, Michael. What? You have betrayed me for the last time. I'm not going gigabyte. You're not gonna get me to do that. Oh my uh, mouse did it. Uh, I'm gonna upgrade from 16 to 32 gigs of RAM. Yeah, what comes so, after that? Isn't it like uh like what? 64. What's going on? Is that what he says? 64 gigabytes of RAM? 64 no, bits? I'm just, no, I'm just going to get 32 gigabytes. 64 bits? Yo. I was and like, then, uh, a lot of RAM, man. And then, uh, um, if, if GPUs ever come back in stock, probably going to go with the 1660 Ti. Um, upgrade from my RX 580. Like uh, Michael, I need to know. Is there a reason why you're not going gigabyte? Uh, because I MSI was like the cheapest oh, I that I looked at here. today. <laughs> um, I my my PC part picker list change every day along with the prices. So yeah, and um, then I'm getting two more SSDs as well. Uh, I need an SSD. Yeah, Super running sex off that hard drive. Super yep. sex dungeons. Oh, and I'm also building a second computer. Michael, why do you need two super sex dungeons? Um oh, fun fact, I'm building a second computer so we can have a NAS to store our footage. Oh yeah, you said you were using uh what for that? Just an old Optiplex. Oh, nice. I'm gonna I'm gonna install a couple hard drives like a hundred dollars worth of hard drives in there and then... um i would recommend what i had if i didn't give it away to arthur but i had a server pc that was oh. like for uh I, not like a server but it was practically like in a warehouse to keep track of liquor and oh. internet stuff cat i swear to god i will shoot you with this gun if you just don't eat my peas my peas <laughs> he's trying to get my peas he's trying to munch on my peas don't step on my keyboard. Get out of here. Get out of here. I have a gun to your head. Leave. 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 That's right. Travis, this is animal abuse. It's not animal abuse. He's he's cool with it. And it's not animal abuse. It's it is defense of property. These are my peas. He's trying to steal them. Michael, if someone came to your house and threatened you, you would pull out a gun, right? That is true. I would pull out a shotgun. See, same someplace. thing. I wouldn't pull out a shotgun. I'd whip I'd out my, my my cock and balls. <laughs> Actually, that I, I do have a question. Like, what are your thoughts on like guns, like owning guns? Oh, I don't care. You can own a gun if you want. Um, I I would rather have it where no one could own a gun. But at this point, I don't think that would like trying to like outlaw guns is a good idea. Hmm. Like, I, I, I just don't think it's going to go over well. I feel like in the start, like, 
decided to outlaw guns, then I think it'd been fine. But there's yeah. just so many other ways to get guns, and it's like most criminals probably don't get yeah. their guns like from the gun store. <laughs> yeah, they actually have websites where like you can build your own gun. Like they'll send you the parts, and there's no Ooh, serial number actually, on them. Another th funny thing that my stepdad told me. Um, so I think it's this. You can't have a gun with a fully like you can't like have a gun that has an installed fully automatic receiver, right? Mm -hmm. But you can have a fully automatic like receiver. So it's not illegal <laughs> to have a fully automatic receiver and a gun that doesn't like have one or like it has like a semiotic until exactly. you put it install it into on onto the gun until you make it a fully automatic gun, and then it's <laughs> illegal. <laughs> there, there is actually fully auto, full auto guns that you can buy on the market, but they're really hard to get your hands on. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't mind you owning a gun, but I don't agree with somebody owning something that's fully automatic. Yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah, I like because it's literally like the only thing I think is for hunting and for self defense. Yeah, that's the only reason why you need to own a gun, and you don't need a f like a fucking fully automatic high powered rifle for it. Like, yeah, like freaking like rifles for like hunting handguns shotguns those are the only like three things you need yeah um and honestly i think if you have a gun for home defense or whatever i feel like you don't necessarily need to be using lethal rounds because they have less lethal rounds like rubber bullets and um and mine bullets and, yeah, i agree and uh pepper spray rounds that you can get for shotguns like that work just as good <laughs> to just shoot out like a puff of pep pepper spray or something yeah so okay so it's actually pepper powder and it's like a 10 foot spread Jeez. of pepper powder and you just cover them with it gosh damn it pepper spray is pretty uh pretty bad especially yeah. if you buy it yeah, when I when I get my shotgun, I'm pro that's probably what I'm gonna go for because I don't want to kill anybody. Yeah. yeah. I mean, like, if you're if you buy a gun for like hunting and stuff, that's cool. Like yeah. you're hunting, but uh, or like home defense and away. Yeah. But like, if you're a if you buy a gun to like kill people, then you know that's not right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I do and like that, that... I do like what. And that comes to the thing is that like why I just find it silly is that like with that you can own a fully automatic receiver but you can't have a gun with it installed. Which I don't understand yeah. that is because if someone's gonna break the law and like go and kill someone, why do they care that putting a fully automatic receiver in their gun is breaking the law? It's not like, oh yeah. man, now I can't use my fully automatic receiver because I'll be breaking the law when I go shoot people. It's like, no, <laughs> like they're just gonna put it in. They don't care. <laughs> um, yeah, that's that. Also, like stuff like that also makes me like confused about Washington laws because like anybody can own a semi-automatic, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if you're under twenty-one, you can't buy one. It's <laughs> so, like if your parent buys you a semi-automatic rifle or handgun, mm -hmm. you can own it. Like it can be in your name. But you cannot buy it. That's weird. Yeah. yeah. But, like, because, like... Yeah, like... And back to the thing of, like, how I'd rather have it if, like, we weren't allowed guns. Mm -hmm. Honestly, cause I, because there is, like, like, statistic proof. I don't know how it holds up now, but I know, like... We looked at, like, data of, like, how much, like, murders from handguns happen... In like different countries and we're the most and even in other countries it's like 10 a year when we yeah. have thousands but like that's also a thing is that like we are the big like we're kind of like we're, we are like the biggest country we have a lot of people in here a lot of people has guns and outlawing guns is just going to be i don't know it just seems very difficult because there's sp especially yeah. people who don't want to give up their guns mm-hmm I think what uh, I think a big change that really needs to happen in gun laws is doing psyche vows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, like that's the thing I want. I, like for right now, I want tougher laws on owning a gun, like yeah, in, in acquiring one. 
I don't I don't remember which country it is. It's either like Sweden or Switzerland, but like they own just as much guns as what we do, but their gun laws are so strict that you don't see any uh well, I mean there is gun violence, but you don't see it nearly as much as you do here. Yeah. And then Switzerland, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if that's the country, but it's one of the safest places in the world. Yeah. And, you know, back to that, like Japan, if you want to go off countries that don't let their people own guns, that's one of the, also the safest places in the world. Yeah. yeah. The only people are, like, the only people are allowed to have guns is uh, police and military, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah. Like, a country can still be safe with guns or without them. It's just how you handle it. Yeah, that's a, you know, that's the thing. It's just that like this country needs to handle it better. Yeah. Man, I feel like if we implemented psyche psyche vows, there's gonna be a lot of angry rednecks. Because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's like that's like the only trouble, and I just like find it stupid. It's just that like it just seems like no one wants to deal with the trouble of having people like because people are gonna complain. Yeah. And they're just like, the government doesn't want to deal with that. But, like, honestly, let those people complain, because, like, we, if, you, if you're if you going to make a safer country, you need to make some compromises, even if that means mm -hmm. making, making people angry. <laughs> yeah. See, that's the thing, like, like, okay, for, like, anybody, you know, who's viewing this, uh, you know, we still, we don't think that there shouldn't be guns at all, you know, it's just, like, there needs to be stricter things to prevent, you know, people that are crazy or can't own a gun safely from owning a gun. You yeah. know? People who would be a harm to themselves or others, they, yeah. they practically shouldn't own a gun. People who are responsible with guns, it, like, it doesn't matter. They're not going to go and shoot someone. They either just like guns because they look cool and like going to shooting range or they like hunting. Well, you know what I saw last night? What? Okay, so, you know, one of the number one rules of guns is, loaded or not, you do not point it at a person, right? Mm hmm So, do you guys know who Jeffree Star is? Uh, I think I've heard of him. Me too. He's a, he's a beauty YouTuber. Yeah, yeah, I've heard of him. I watched his most recent video last night, and he was picking up a pink AR, right? Uh-huh. Was it um, legit? Yeah, it was, it was a legit AR, but as he was looking at it, he, like was looking at the side profile of it. Uh-huh. And as he was doing that, the gun was pointing directly at his camera guy. Neat. <laughs> and like question, I went, did he have his hand on his trigger too? No, he didn't have it on the trigger. Okay. But the fact that but like I could see like the clerk in the background just like her face go <gasps> Yeah. That's the thing we were taught is like uh like because in JRTC when we went up to J. Billum, they gave us, like, replica guns. They they don't have anything that you can fire with, but they, like, feel like a real gun. And we did stuff with that. And, like, how you're supposed to hold it. So you're not even aiming at, like, the person's feet. Mm -hmm. And if you were even, like, holding onto the trigger, that would take away take it away. Yeah. Yeah, because you'd have to have it off the trigger and then aiming at a specific spot that it will not, like, even if you're walking by someone... It's not going to shoot their foot if like something accidentally happens. Yeah. yeah. Well, you see, what I, what I was taught is like, don't aim a gun at something unless you intend on destroying it. Yeah. Keep yeah, your finger off the freaking like... trick. Also, another thing too, uh, if you guys remember that, uh, I don't know if you guys even saw it, but like the boogie two nine nine eight whatever his name is uh, situation, and someone came to his house and he fired a warning shot. Mm -hmm. Uh, he decided to shoot in the air, which is uh, uh, a big no-no as a warning shot, and that's a, yeah. not a good thing to do. <laughs> to, yeah, because yeah. what goes up must come down. Yeah. Yeah. The thing yeah. about, like, pointing a gun at somebody is, like, a gun is not supposed to be used as, like, a, I mean, I, you, you can use it as a threat, but if you're going to point a gun at somebody, like... You need to be willing to kill them right then and there. <laughs> yeah. Or at least defend yourself if, like, the gun is not used, like, intending to kill anyways. 
Yeah. yeah that that's that's the thing because with like Boogie that he wasn't intending to kill. He was being harassed and he like mentioned that he didn't want to shoot him, but he yeah. will defend his house. Yeah. Yeah. But he's still stupidly shot in the air, and most people are like, okay, like, warning shots are stupid anyways, but if you want to do one, do it at the ground, because it's going to go in the dirt. <laughs> yeah. It's not going to fly in the air, and then land at the fucking nearby park. You can see a problem <laughs> there now. <laughs> oh, I don't think I told you guys this, but um, uh, a few weeks ago, we had someone sneaking around in our backyard. Oh, I did not hear this. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, and they had a flashlight and uh, like we locked the house down. We put up curtains and whatnot. And um, I went and grabbed the gun and loaded it. And um, I was looking out my sister's window because that's like the best vantage point if you want to see anything in the backyard. Uh-huh. I didn't see anybody. My mom comes upstairs. And she's like, I don't want you holding the gun. I was like, okay, here. And then she took it. You know, all was well. Nobody was hurt or anything. Like, mm-hmm. But when she got to the bottom of the stairs, she got really careless. And she just tilted the gun towards directly at my sister as she was putting it in the closet. Oof. And I was like, I was like, mom, please, <laughs> barrel, the <laughs> barrel. Loaded. Gun loaded. I, 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 like pointing. jumped in front of my sister. I was like, "Mom, <laughs> if you know, if I were to own a weapon, if anything, I've always wanted one. It's a bow and arrow, dude. Yeah, I, I fired a bow and arrow very poorly. I was very bad. It was at middle. It was at. It was in elementary school. Uh, I have very bad, just like moving my fingers. The only thing I'm good at with using my fingers at is with playing video games." And like and like that's it. Everything else I just suck at. So bad even is that I don't even like when I was younger, I can I can do it now. Uh we had a giant ass fucking longbow, right? And it was in Montana, so of course we're gonna have a fucking longbow just like come on like, hey everyone, let's shoot a longbow. <laughs> so it was like on the ground and my hand dumbly thought, Okay, I'm gonna let go of my like left like my left like hand. I'm going to let go with that one as well as my right when my left one's holding the fucking thing. So then I let go of both. The arrow goes nowhere and just falls on the ground. And the bow, like the bow, like it's huge and it rocks. And then it almost fucking smacks me in the face coming back. (laughs) So that was the first time I ever used a bow. And that was, yeah. It's for that reason why I would rather have a crossbow. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can, I can use a bow now. And actually, I did fire a gun before. Oh, nice! It was a it was a rifle. I don't know exactly what it was, but it was loud. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was also in Montana. My uncle and his friends—they were just like going out there to shoot at like targets, like at some trees. Hmm. And I got bullseye. Ooh. In your face, mom. I have a gun. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah, my mom wants a crossbow. Crossbows are cool. Yeah, they're pretty cool. I think that's the next weapon besides katana that I'm adding to my arsenal. A crossbow? Yeah. <clears throat> it's like a bow, but you don't have to do any of the work. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> This is true. You do not have to do any of the work. Except well, you kind of do because you have to pull the arrow back. Yeah, but you have to hold it there. You can just pull it back yeah. and then you could, I don't know, fucking masturbate then come back and it'll still be in the same place. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, fuck. Anything else on that topic? Of guns. Hmm. Look out on my channel for my my gun stream, bros. <laughs> <laughs>
Dude, we should <laughs> legalize the uses of RPGs and miniguns. You think? Well, you can't. You can own just about any weapon in Colorado. <laughs> Yo, let's go to Colorado and just fucking fire a minigun and then probably <laughs> fall over. I don't think you can own any f full auto guns. But there is a man there that owns a few, like a tank and some explosives and what the fuck? <laughs> okay. I, know, I, I know you. I, I think you can actually like. I don't know exactly what it is. I I because I think you can actually kind of have a tank, but like I think it's just that like it's probably like doesn't. Let's not weaponize. Like it can't fire or something. Yo, Maybe. our first YouTube check. What? Let's get a tank with our first YouTube check. Yo, have fun with that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Michael, have fun with that. <laughs> I will. Good luck on your adventures. Of not having enough money. <laughs> Wow. Mm -hmm. You guys want to hear about the infinite monkey theorem? Yes! Okay, so I'm just going to give you, like, the basic rundown give of it. Give me everything. Well, I, like, I can't really give you everything. Give me I mean, everything. Like, I can really only put it in a basic rundown. Give me everything. I mean, it's pretty basic, actually. Just give me everything. Every info. Okay, so basically, if you put no, a monkey... No, 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 not basically. Who were the scientists' names? What were their names? When were they born? What year did they f fucking come? Uh, when did they stop being virgins? Are they still virgins? How does their cum taste? How big is their cock? Their cup size, if they're female, you know? Um, you know, you gotta give me all the details, man. So the basically... Full story. <laughs> not basically. So basically... <laughs> okay, fine, go basic, God. Basically... If you put a monkey on, like, a keyboard or a typewriter... Like this like, one! ...for an infinite amount of time, it will eventually write the works of Shakespeare. So basically, the theory goes that if you do something for long enough, or forever, anything that seems impossible will become possible. If you do it long enough. You know, the chance of, chances are that... are, are like... One out of, like, seven trillion, you know. I think the monkeys cheated, honestly. I, 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 I can understand that, but, like, at the same time, no. <laughs> because I... Go ahead. Because, because, yes, technically there's a chance that the monkeys will somehow type together random letters that they don't like if they don't understand letters and they just randomly type there's a chance that they type every single letter that like in space that corresponds with a sh like a shakespeare like writing and yeah there's a chance but still it's just too absurd to be like oh yeah it'll happen eventually it's like no it'll never happen the monkeys will fucking die before they write shakespeare well, that's why the, that's why it's if the monkey is given an infinite amount of time and is constantly just jumping on this keyboard or typewriter. Even then, if you're given an amount, infinite amount of time, it's because it's a percentage chance that it may never happen. Just because, it, like, it could even be a 99.9% 9 .9 chance something will happen, and there's still a possibility that will never happen, ever. Yeah. There is that possibility, but the, the that's the theory is that it will eventually happen, given enough time. Yes, I know, but there's also a technical possibility that it will never happen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the same thing. Even with an infinite amount of time, let's say like two characters. Let's let's give Fire Emblem an example. Ooh, Fire Emblem. Um, two characters have a ninety nine percent chance to hit each other, and if they give an infinite amount of time. There's a possibility that they'll never hit each other. And they'll sit there swinging at each other infinitely, never killing each other. And that's why it's a theory. A game theory. <clears throat> that's why I heard it from, actually. And then I looked it up. 
My game theory. Fucking game theory. Actually, I heard. I heard. I've heard this before. Actually. <laughs> I knew it was. I knew I recognized it. More than yeah, just game theory like, said this. <laughs> it was, uh, I know, but that's where I heard it. It was from their dream video they just did. Oh. Yeah, about dream. Yeah. Wow, you still got, you guys still watch game theory? Yeah. Dude, he it's sucks. Pretty educational. No, he, he sucks. <laughs> I think he's pretty cool. No, yeah. except for when I he mean, does a thing about Persona and then just calls his fandom, calls the fandom stupid, and just say, "Oh, they're just gonna nitpick my theories, and I don't like them." And it's like, "Okay, why are you doing this video?" And to uh, the point of like, the reason why people poke holes in your theories sometimes is because th y your theory isn't sound. <laughs> you need to, you know, like make sure that you can fill those holes. Instead of just going, well, it's just a theory, guys. Yeah. Well, for me, it's like, it's not like... I only watch him when he's on trending. <laughs> it's, for me, it's like, I don't really, like, care. If the, like, I, I, I just find, I just find what he thinks interesting. I'm not like that guy that's like, oh, man, your theory is wrong because of this, this, and this. Yeah, but when he, what, like, the thing is, though, is that when he does talk about something... And then, like, you have more information and you can debunk his theory. It's kind of just like, and then it's just like, his, it's just a theory. Because that's kind of just trying to stay away from, like, people can't just poke a hole because it's just a theory. When that's not the point of a theory. The theory is yeah. supposed to bring up discussion. And yeah. when people have already discussed about this, and then when you come in without, like, any information or talking to these people and just say, well, I think this. And they say, no, that's wrong. You can't just go, well, you're just nitpicking. And you're just poking holes in my theory. It's like, we already discussed this. We already know the answer. And you did not have the answer. He did it with Hollow Knight. When, like, everyone like everyone already knows the lore about that. And he did it with Persona 4. When, literally, the anime proves him wrong. <laughs> Michael, what do you think about the Infinite Monkey Theorem? Monkey. Monkey. See, there's one thing is uh yeah, I guess, but not really at the same time. But then there's the other one where I go monkey. <laughs> well, Those see, like thoughts. it's like that thing. Like if there's the possibility that it will never happen, there's also the possibility that it will happen. Yeah, I understand that, but no one talks about the. It's the possibility yeah. that it may never happen. They're just like, well, it's possible. It's like, well, it's also possible it can never happen. Just because yeah. it is possible doesn't mean. There's also a possibility it will never happen. It's not like you just one up me like, oh darn, man, it's possible. Ooh boy. It's like, well, it also cannot happen. That's a possibility. And even sometimes there's a higher possibility that it won't happen. Man, like, that brings up possibilities. The, it that brings up like a good point of one of the things that irritates me the most. Like when somebody, and this happened earlier when we were playing Among Us. When somebody is like, hey, can you prove that you didn't do so-and-so or prove your point? It's like, the burden of proof doesn't fall on me. You're the one bringing it up. You have to prove that it's me, or you have to prove this. Yeah, that's that's a th that, yeah, that's the thing. I hate it. Yeah, yeah I, I understand that, too. I hate it, like, when you're just looking at drama, and then it's just people are like, well, you can you can you like prove it's I like I understand what you're saying. I can't put it in the words right now, but it's practically like yeah. People are saying like people are accusing like can you disprove this when it's like you you're the one bringing the proof. You need to bring the proof, yeah. and you're telling like, me to do it for you. I'm not gonna do it. <laughs> people fail to understand that like. It's not, it's the, the burden of proof does not fall on the accused. Like, why would they prove your point for you? Yeah. Or prove that they didn't do it. I mean, if they have proof that they didn't do it, obviously present it. Yeah. But if they don't have any proof or otherwise, the, the burden of proof doesn't fall on them. Yeah. 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 But yeah, that's something that really grinds my gears. Gears. Do you guys have anything that really grinds your gears? 
Um, um, yeah, the Smash community and Nintendo fans. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Can't argue with that one. I mean, they're not all bad, but you know. <laughs> yeah, I know, but the fucking loudest are bad. Yep. Like, I literally don't understand why they're mad about Byleth in the slightest. Wait, you what know? happened? They're, they're still they're mad about Byleth. Oh, they are. Yeah. For what? For being another Fire Emblem character that wields a sword, even though she also wields, or he or she, also wields a spear, an axe, and an arrow. A bow and arrow. But because she wields a sword and she's from Fire Emblem, they, they don't like they don't like them. They don't like Byleth. Byleth is garbage. Michael, what really gets on your nerves? You know, that's a really good question. Michael, you have the answer to that. Just name something that that doesn't make that ag aggravates you. I really, I don't know. Michael, you seem to. There's times when you just get really pissed. Why don't you name one of those times that what pissed you off? <laughs> okay, here I'll help you out. How about how about in GTA? What makes you guys mad, dude? Okay, look, <laughs> the amount of time. I have to spend in that game to get any... Okay, look, it got easier with the KO Perico heist. I will say this. It got easier with KO Perico. I can do like... Boring. I can grind like four of those a day. Boring. Make some good money. Okay. But like, the businesses... My God! Okay, I have spent... Look, I remember one night I spent like eight hours stocking up all the businesses. Okay? Okay? Uh -huh. And then I had to wait... You understand? I had to wait. And then I spent more time selling those businesses. For what? For what? A measly million? Maybe less than that? And then the, the freaking special cargo missions, like the crates, like you, you you have to buy them in order to source in, in order to steal them. <laughs> what, what sense does that make? Wait, wait, you have to buy them? Yeah, okay, so, like, one crate is, like, $2,000, and you're stealing it from someone. I don't think you're stealing it. I think well, you're like, buying it, and then they're setting up at a spot where you purchase, like, after you purchase well, it. No, there's, like, missions where, like, you're getting the crates from a plane crash. I think what happened there is that you bought that, they're being delivered on that crate, and then they crashed. Or are you attacking the, the plane? Okay, well, anyways, the <laughs> fact that I have to spend money to make money with the special cargo is just really annoying. But I am thankful for the KO Perico heist because it does make making money easier, faster. Wow. Okay. And, yeah. Um. Yeah, and GTA. I I don't know. I guess it's mostly just people who are just. They're just dumbasses. I, I, I don't like playing. I, the thing is, it's weird. I don't like playing GT online, like with people online. Like, probably like my worst experience was literally the other day where someone just kept blowing me up for no benefit or gain. And then yeah, went, that's another thing. And then went to go blow up someone else who was just having fun. And then just kept blowing people up. And they're just like, Man. ooh, yeah, I'm Dude, so good at the video game. I remember doing. Uh, I was selling my cargo in a, on my own, right? Mm -hmm. And I was in a big lobby so I could make extra money, right? Mm -hmm. I was on my last truck. I was I was on my way to my last delivery. Yep. And I got out of Ghost Organization because I ran out of time. And this dude that was nearby immediately hits me with an RPG. And then proceeds to follow me around the map and kill me every way possible. I don't understand, like, I don't understand the griefer mentality. Like, 
Do they just enjoy making everybody's day worse? Yep, they have yes. no friends. There are sad human life that will never get any friends or anyone that cares about them because all they like to do is to harm the people around them. Yeah, because I was like, dude, I don't want to PvP. I'm I'm peaceful. I just want to do the missions so I can make money. And he's like, I don't care. I want to PvP. I was like, well, you're not gonna get that from me because I'm not doing anything. <laughs> if you don't, if you want to PvP. Find other people that want to PvP, yeah. and not just be like, "Oh, I can, I can squash this guy, so I can fucking stroke my ego." Oh, look at this! I'm so powerful and strong. Like, and that's another thing. Like, you're not good at the game if you're like fighting people that don't want to fight. Yeah, yeah, but they can just brag. Do. They can brag about it after they because if you kill yourself, it doesn't lower your KD. I don't know why they care about their KD, but literally some of them like if P they try to fight someone who actually can fight back, who can do PVP, but just doesn't because they want to play the game a different way, they'll just start killing themselves before they die, so they don't lower their KD. So they get huge ass KDs and they just boast about it when no one gives a fuck. Cause... And that's the thing. When I started fighting back, he blew himself up. Wait, yeah, okay. <laughs> Yeah, so that that's the aim of PvP. He was just trying to get his KD higher. And if you kill him, he'd get pissed. Because yeah, his so KD's I just, gonna get lowered. I just left the lobby, and that was actually when I quit playing GTA for a long time. Because mm. I was just tired of that kind of stuff. Yeah, yeah I just stay... I just stay ahead. in, like, close friends or invite only is whenever Michael wants to join. And then, if I have to do something in a public lobby like sell businesses because i have because i have the nightclub business which is pretty cool because it just like it just fills up itself you don't have to do anything it just makes money f for me i have like yeah. 700k right now and it's not even halfway filled up <laughs> just sitting there yeah so it's pr it's a pretty good business because you don't have to do anything and i have it fully upgraded and i have all the businesses things required for it so i can it's just sitting there making money for me um yeah so anytime i have to like that i want to sell that i always just go into a solo public lobby yeah yeah it sucks that like griefers are there just to like ruin other people's like play playing experience yeah. Cause it really just ruins it for everybody else. And what's really annoying is that they think they're good at the game just because they're messing with people that don't want to PvP. <laughs> well, yeah, they, they, they strokes their, it just strokes their ego because it hires their KD and it makes them feel important. Yeah. Because everyone in their life push, is just pushed away by them because they just like hurting other people. Yeah. And I was really disappointed that he was like a much higher level. I was like level ninety nine, he was like two fifty six. I was like, come on man, you're better than this. It's <laughs> probably no, it spent freaking griefing everybody. Yeah. You don't really get RP for killing other players, I don't think. Oh, do you not? No. I think that was just him grinding for money. Until he gets over a lot of things, so he can start killing people easily. Yeah. Or maybe he did just learn all of his cash and RP by destroying other people's shipments for some reason, because that gives you money. But like, that's the thing. Like, Rockstar has mini games, so you can do that type of thing without messing up other people. Like, they have PvP specific mini games. Yeah. Yeah, except for they're not really gonna join in that. For example, there's a PvP one that I was doing that I like. I explained that the person was blowing up for no reason because you're all mm -hmm. supposed to go to this location and there's like ten crates and you're supposed to go yeah. in there and you're supposed to fight and try to get out and then bring it back to your place and you're supposed mm -hmm. to fight over crates. But people just don't give a shit. They're just gonna blow people up instead. Like this one guy who's just sitting in a buzzard blowing me up repeatedly, and then his friend and oppressor came and blew me up. And then that's all they did. They didn't go for any crates, and then they just got bored and went to go blow other people up. Yeah. And that's an, that's another thing. Like, I understand having an oppressor. It's a really good vehicle for, like, missions and stuff. But using it to just be a jerk, like, I just hate oppressors, even though I own one. 
Yeah, I stopped. I tried I tried to stop using mine. Yeah. I just use fine. Good. I just use the sparrow now or the scramjet cuz it's fun. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say that's why I'm thankful for the, like the sparrow because like it's faster than it, it's not as accurate, but it's, it's faster than the impressor. Yeah, it's faster than the impressor. It's not as accurate, and it's a lot more dangerous to fly, and it's a <laughs> lot more fragile. You'd fucking land three times, and it's broken because you hit the ground a little too hard. <laughs> but that 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 keeps things a little bit more interesting, in my opinion. Yeah, it does, because now no longer missions are just fly in there, blow up things, impressor, get off presser, get thing, go back on oppressor, fly away. Like yeah. doing, the, like I always do diamond shopping with the oppressor just because it's really quick, and I don't, and I, I've already done it like a thousand times before. If I did with a yeah. sparrow, it'd be a way different outcome. And I think I did before, and I did crash in the middle of the mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds about right. <laughs> <sighs> Yeah, I think the only time I use my oppressor now is during the um, plasma cutter mission for the Cape Verco heist. Mm. Because, like, I'll use my helicopter and I'll go to the place where... I'll go to the warehouse, right? Mm -hmm. Or, no, the safe house. Mm -hmm. And then I'll request the oppressor so I can take out the guys uh, over at the location of the plasma cutter. I just use the RPG. It's pretty effective. Yeah, I tried that and I killed myself. <laughs> multiple times you can probably <laughs> just like aim at the cars yeah and then after you blow up both cars there's just like a few guys left and then you just like there's like one or two guys left and you just kill them and then you just use the rpg for the cars and then you can get in your sparrow and fly away yeah that's what i do i just land with my sparrow blow them up the guys come come out I, after me i blow them up again my sparrow fly away I mean, well, I mean, you know how bad I am with explosives. Hmm. I mean, you saw me with the, like, first ten seconds of my scramjet. <laughs> That's a different story. Scramjet's a whole different deal. No, it isn't. That, thing's, that thing is dangerous beyond dangerous. I feel like that's just you. I've only spent, like, 20k on it since I've had it. You've spent... Wow, I haven't even spent 100k yet on your scramjet. Wow. <laughs> so, yeah, Damien, so this new flying car with rockets that we have, which is a pretty cool car, and it's one of the waifu cars. Um, yeah. It costs 10k to repair, and in the first, like, hour alone, Michael spent 80k fucking dollars because he kept driving it into the water. <laughs> Because it's 10k per repair, and he fucking drowned his car 80 times as I was doing a heist. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty bad at driving that thing. Just don't, you just don't jump around near the ocean. <laughs> like, he just kept, like, going near the ocean. And then one time, he wanted to drive me back, and, like, where you deliver all the tools is at your submarine, right? Mm -hmm. So he just launched himself at my submarine and <laughs> not make it, surprisingly. I almost made it. I almost made it. Michael, you do realize that almost made it means if you landed on it, you would fly right off and into the water. <laughs> that I almost would have made it, though. You would have you would have touched it and flew off. <laughs> that would, I would have counted that. I wouldn't because you'd be on there for one <laughs> second and then you're off. If we really want to do that, I'm going to have to reposition it so it's like... Like, it's stretched out the long way, so you land on the back, and then you ride up, and then you try to break, and if you don't break enough time, you're just going to hit the back, like the tall thing. Yeah. That's the only way we're going to be able to do that. But it, what you're saying is it can be done. Yes, it can be done, but that was not close, and the sub was not in proper position. But you're saying it can be done. Yes, Michael, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying it can be done. If we move the sub in a different position. Man, you guys you guys got me talking this time around. Yeah. And Damien's now the silent one. Gosh, Damien, why are you so quiet? Oh, I Sorry, so I was quiet, doing my tasks. <laughs> wow, so now you're the one playing video games while the us talk. <laughs> well, no, I was listening. I was just waiting for a moment to interject. 
It's okay, Damien. I'm watching Unis on this right now. No, no, Michael, no, 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 no. Hold up. Why are you watching that? Yeah, I have to. No, it's 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 Unis on his funny moments. So it's only little clips of each episode. It's not like. Doesn't matter. Michael's still can't get out of here. No, it doesn't. They said you can upload clips if you. They said. You prove that. Clips are fine. Can you prove that? Well, no, can, I David, can you disprove that? Live stream. <laughs> can you disprove that, Damien? Yes, I can. How? <laughs> um, da- Damien. Yeah. Are you gonna disprove it, or are you just? You know. I did. I said he. I, I didn't hear it. <laughs> yeah, sorry. Well, that, that, that just proves it. Oh, yeah? Have you considered this? No. Pizza Monkey with AK-47. Now, you better uh, you, you better just shut the fuck up or else this Pizza Monkey will shoot you. He has an AK-47. Hmm. I see. See, Travis, given enough time, a monkey... Will eventually make pizza. Given enough time, a monkey will make a pizza that consists of the entire work of Shakespeare on it. <laughs> it's a possibility, you know, the cheese could melt in a way that perfectly legibly writes out the entire works of Shakespeare. See, given enough time, I will eventually fly. <laughs> you see, given enough time, um,. Giraffe. <laughs> I, I got nothing. I don't know. What I was. I don't know where I was going with that. There's just a picture of a giraffe over there. Given enough time, Michael will eventually become level 1000 in GTA Online. Dude, that would take forever. But we're making progress. You're already like what? Like almost level 100, 140. I remember when you got level 100, like fucking like like a week weeks ago. Yeah, I was like, what, level 110 like a week, a couple weeks ago? Something like that? Around that? No, no. Yeah, I'm almost, I'm almost 150 now. Bro, I think you stopped, you've stopped unlocking things now, haven't you? Uh, in terms of guns, yes. Well, I think in terms of everything, I think you have all clothing now. And all car upgrades. Oh, I'm thinking of uh, bunker research. Sorry. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. I, I'm yeah. I'm talking about just like level unlocks. Yeah. Um. I'm well, one it level. It only took me six, seven, eight. Nine, almost. It only took me five years. <laughs> um. I am one level away. I am level one hundred and nineteen. Nice. And then I unlock a minigun, and now I can shoot you in the face and laugh as your face gets ripped off. I mean, you could have done that with a Widowmaker. I'm not spending that much money. <laughs> <laughs> Especially now. I don't. I think the only thing I will maybe get weapon-wise after the minigun is the Elf Anatomizer. I don't think there's any point for the Unholy yeah. thing, because it's just an LMG and the Widowmaker, because it's just a minigun. I logged in one day and found that found that in my inventory, and I still have not figured out how I got it. Oh, what? The Unholy Hellbringer. I thought you bought it. No, I just logged in and it was in my inventory. I'm pretty sure I remember we were playing with each other and you bought it. I would remember buying an alien gun, Travis. Would you remember buying an alien gun in GTA, though? Yes. So you remember every time you bought a gun in GTA? Yes. So you <laughs> remember when you bought... I remember in 2017, I bought every weapon that was available to me. And then so uh, remember... when I started playing again last summer... Um, when we started playing I... again, and you bought it when we were playing. Um, when we got it on for free on Epic. And then we started playing with you, and then you bought it during that time. No, I bought the Widowmaker and the Up Anatomizer. No, you already had the Widowmaker. 
I have never bought the Unholy Hillbringer, Travis. I, I can assure you that while we were playing... Travis, it wasn't in my inventory until, like, hey, 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 five hey. days ago. <laughs> it's pretty pointless to argue over memory since it can't be reliable at all. Oh, yeah? You could both be right oh, or yeah? you could both be wrong. I remember him exactly purchasing it. Travis. I know, but he also remembers him not purchasing it. It's um, uh, all I'm saying is it's okay. Pointless okay, it. but here's the thing, though. What's funny is is that the un the unholy hellbringer, it's literally impossible to pick up and also keep. So he would have to buy it. Meaning he did buy it. I did not buy it though. I logged in like a week ago and it was in my inventory. Except for the fact is is that you're gonna have to buy it at some point because it can't just appear in your inventory. I'm telling you, man, modder put it in my inventory. That's, that is a possibility. That's not no. That's not how it works. Because all unless you buy it, I don't think they can keep it in your inventory. I would not spend four hundred thousand dollars on that gun. Yeah, but you would sp spend a million dollars on a go go kart, then break it a couple whoa, times, whoa. spend money, whoa. and then sell it, and then spend another one million dollars on that go kart. Whoa, whoa, that's a different story. Okay. I'm okay. just saying you're really good at wasting money, so it's entirely possible that you wasted money. So, so what you're telling me here is that you won't waste money, but you will waste money. What I'm saying is when it comes to vehicles, I am at a higher chance of wasting money because I realize after selling the vehicle, oh, wait, I actually did want it. But when it comes to weapons, I am certain when I want something and when I don't want something. And I am telling you that I did not buy that gun. It appeared in my inventory, and that is case closed. Um, well, I'm telling you that it's impossible to get that weapon without you purchasing it. So it's not case Travis. closed because you cannot get the gun without purchasing it. Travis, I don't think you understand. I have I hung out with some modders, okay? Something fishy could have happened. Michael, right. you don't I did hang not out. Spend, you don't. I hang, did not you spend four hundred thousand dollars on Michael, that alien gun. Michael, Michael, you do not hang out with anybody on GTA Five except for me. Okay, the well, only I was I was in the vicinity of a lot of modders. There was a group of modder modders yes. monitors. <laughs> yeah, there's a group of mo yes, I'm around modders too. I I've had a fucking submarine drop on people's heads, Michael, and I didn't get free but guns. It is one hundred percent possible it's, it's that a modder could have put it in I, my inventory. And then you won't keep it because you can get weapons. For example, you can get the special carbine during the fingerprint mission, but you're not allowed to keep it. So just because you were given it doesn't mean you're allowed to keep the weapon unless the transaction was made. It appeared in my inventory, and I am saying nothing further. Michael, you can't just get things in your inventory without spending money. Like, modders can't get vehicles or weapons, which they cannot feet. keep them. They cannot keep them unless they actually purchase it, and that's why they give money and not just drop cars, because they can't just drop a car that's theirs. They can't do that. You also have to think that it could just be a glitch. It, I, that I, is, I doubt. That actually, I actually doubt that's within. not what that. That's I don't. I don't think that's what happened. Look, with how GTA has been lately, that is also plausible. Okay, like, GTA it, has been dumb, but it's not like adding shit into your inventory or giving you stuff. When has ever GTA well, it, glitched? It, it, it takes our grenades you away. Does it yes. not? Yes, it takes stuff away. So Does it, it bring it? That it can put stuff. To... No, it's not. It's not possible. It can put stuff in there. But the possibility does exist. No, it doesn't. I think it does, though. I don't think it GTA does. GTA is pretty glitchy, especially online. Well, I don't think he could have gotten that gun from a glitch. I mean, both you guys could be right. Like, either you or Michael are right. We can't. We can't know. There's no way of knowing. All I'm saying is, is I vaguely remember him purchasing it when we were, I when Ira was still about playing. purchasing it, but then I was like, no, that would be dumb. No, no, I remember you purchasing it in the early days with me and Ira. Okay, I did not purchase it. No, yeah, I do not. Travis's theory is definitely way more plausible, but I'm not gonna deny as well that Michael. Is not telling the truth. Okay. When we played with Ira, that is when I bought the Widowmaker. Okay? 
Yes, and and I remember we were talking about you getting the unholy hellbringer, so you could test it out, it. and I'm pretty sure you did, and then you started using it against us. I know you used it against me before, and if you've gotten it I in the past, used, you've, used, you've used you've used it against me before, and I remember you used. using it against me. I've always used the Widowmaker. No, I remember you using it against us, against me before, and you have not used it against me in the past five days. I have, Travis... It's always been the Widowmaker. I know always. The, I know the fucking difference. It doesn't make the same noise, and I know you've used that because I know you hold it differently. Travis, it has always been the Widowmaker. No, I remember you using. I that. had zero interest in the Hellbringer until the past like two weeks. I will say that when when I was in the game, the last time I was in the game, and during that whole time, I only saw him use that freaking, what is it called? Widowmaker, the minigun. Yeah. I only saw him use the Widowmaker. I don't yeah, know. I'm if not he had saying. It or not, I'm right? not. I'm just okay. I know he. I remember once. I'm not saying it's like like he used it against me a lot. I'm just saying one time when we were fighting, he used it before. Yes, most of the time. Well, this he, is he used me. The, like, yeah, yeah. I, I know you're talking about you, but like, I think I don't think you were playing with us, and I think it was like I don't think Ira was there, but I'm pretty sure you bought it when we were playing with Ira before. No. Yes. No, I did not buy yes, it then. Yes, you did buy it then. How about we just agree to disagree and move on? <laughs> move on to what? What are we going to talk about next? Anything but this, because I'm getting kind of mad now. Bam, another yeah. thing that aggravates you. <laughs> <laughs> you know what really grinds Michael's gears? <laughs> he bought the fucking thing. And that's I funny. did not! Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys <laughs> you want to close out the podcast Travis uh, are we going to do that now yeah hey Michael I guess we're ending the podcast now <laughs> good <laughs> Michael we're going to stop if you want to get done to... talking to both of you what, what? Wait, what? Damien, Damien has been on the <laughs> middle ground the entire time he's been like it's entirely possible you both of you are right and he has put up evidence that yes, Travis could be true, or that yes, Michael could be true. <laughs> okay, well, how long have we been recording? Hold on, here, I'm just going to take a break here. Every, any, you could say anything you want. Uh, yeah, Michael, come on, it's not that serious, man. I don't want to play with you. What? what? <laughs> Michael, what? why? Hey, Michael, it's okay, man. I don't want to play with Dude, I, I honestly don't care what happens. <laughs> it's just a fucking gun in a video game. <laughs> I don't want to play with <laughs> What, 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 you want to get serious then? Get fucking serious. You want to get fucking haboobed? I don't want to play any games with you anymore, Travis. Why not? <laughs> what, Michael. What, what happened? Michael, this cannot be the first time that somebody has questioned your own memory. In it's fact, not, actually, I it's am, not. I am in school. It's not. <laughs> but I am 100% certain. I am 100% certain on this one. Yeah, I'm 100% certain to my mom all the time. She's like, nope. And I argue, but guess what? Nothing changes. Also, I'm 100% certain when I go do tests that I can do it, and then I fail. I'm like, what the fuck? I thought I knew this shit. See, the thing about memory, Michael, is it's not reliable in the least. Yeah, honestly, okay, honestly you could have... Honestly, I could be confusing the moment when you went in and fuck I don't know, fucking bought a dildo or something. Like I could have just confused it then. Just like, you know, like maybe that it's a fucking blue laser gun, I don't know. <laughs> Michael. <laughs> Michael. He has abandoned humanity and has returned to monkey. <laughs> I don't want to do this podcast anymore. Whoa. <laughs> what? 
We're not gonna argue every podcast. <laughs> Michael, the thing about it is, you have to understand, it wasn't really an argument, it was more of a discussion. Yeah. Like, when we're in a podcast, and, like, a discussion like that, back and forth, it's never meant to, like, offend you or anything. It's never meant to make you sad. And if it does, you just gotta say something, man. Well, I'm pretty freaking sad. Michael, he, well, he's I not apologize. saying you're wrong. He's just saying, like, what he thinks he saw. And you guys', is, you guys is just point of views just conflict. I'm gonna kill myself now. How about no? I'm joking. I know, but still. It's not that funny, man. Makes me say it. Now I'm saying it. Feel my pain. Sad podcast. Well, how about instead of feeling pain, we, f- we feel happy? Talk about masturb- masturbation stories. That, that doesn't make me happy. That come just on. Makes me cringe. No, come on. We need to we need to copy the official podcast. We're not official. We're complicated. So we yeah, gotta copy them. Do... What? I want to do the full six hour flight to Iceland. <laughs> on what? Hey, hey, you do six hour streams. Flight you could simulator. stream that, and I'll be and I'll be there with you. <laughs> Wait, do you have flight simulator? I used to. I have to. Oh. I have to renew my membership, or buy, just buy the game. But yeah, same. I wanted to do the freaking like ten hour flight to Japan. But yeah, Michael, I would definitely sit there and talk to you <laughs> while you do it. <laughs> anyway, I also that's... learned how to use autopilot. Oh frick, dude! <laughs> Holy shit! You learned how to <laughs> not have to control everything the plane does for the full six hours. Dude, I was like, as I was flying, I was like, okay, I'm, I'm trying to get up to the to the altitude, but, like, this is really not working. Because, like, you have to keep going up and down until you reach the, the perfect speed and alti- altitude. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, you know what, I'll just turn on autopilot. And I finally figured it out, and it, it was much easier. <laughs> Yeah, there's two types of autopilots. There's one where, like, the co-pilot takes control, and then there's the one that's, like, actual autopilot. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure the one where the, like, co-pilot takes control is, like, not that reliable. Where the co-pilot does? Yeah. It's actually, it's very reliable. <laughs> that's the one I was using. Is it the other one that's not reliable, then? I don't yeah. Th- I think, like, the other autopilot is just for flying in a straight path and keeping the same speed and elevation. When the co-pilot's, yeah. like, for, like, other, like, maneuvers that, like, a robot really can't do. Yeah. Anyways, actually, I want to... Are you guys willing to talk about masturbation stories? No. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing. The only funny ones are ones that I'm really not comfortable sharing outside of friend groups. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, then, I, I mean, I guess you could just, you know, like, explain a masturbation story. <laughs> like, the most interesting one you're willing to share. Right now or next podcast? I mean, we could just, this, this could be our end off. We could copy the official podcast. Let's go. Oh, well, now I have to think of one on the spot. Right, well, here, while you guys think of one that you may be willing to share, uh, my most interesting one, um, it was actually the first time. <laughs> ah. Because, yeah, practically, like, my, my friend talked about that he did, and it was in middle school, and he did, and I'm like, I mean, I don't really see the point of it. And then I just got curious. And then, like, yeah, I was just, like, r- rubbing my dick, you know? And then I came, what? and I it just, like, out of nowhere, just, like, I'm, like, holy shit. And for, like, the next week at school, I don't know why, just, like, I was just, like, embarrassed for some reason. It's just, like, holy shit, dude. Holy shit. Like, I don't know, like, I guess worried that people will find out and just, like, oh, my God. That's so weird. And I don't know why. But, yeah, it was it was weird. And I don't know why okay. I thought of that. <laughs> I guess I'll talk about it the first time as well. Um, so I was just like sitting, like messing, messing with some things. Um, the beep beep? Yeah, but I was like, I wonder, I wonder if I could replicate some of the stuff that I've seen. So like, 
I spit in my hand. Mm-hmm. <laughs> As you do. And I was like, well, if I want to replicate this thing, then to cover, to, then to get the most coverage, I'll just go overhand. Right? Mm. So I turned my hand upside down. <laughs> and I did that. And then um, a, l- a, little, a little later on, I was like, it feels like I really have to pee right now. It's like, Wait, why do I have to pee so badly now? <laughs> and then, and then uh, that happened. I was like, "That's not pee." <laughs> and I just rushed to the bathroom. I was like, "What? What happened? <laughs> Am I okay?" <laughs> Mom, my pee is white and sticky. No, I, I didn't say anything, but like the next yeah. day, I I tried it again. I was like. Oh, that's what that is. <laughs> Man. Like, okay, so I started out like a really, really young age. It was like, I think I was like eight or nine. It was oh, really wow. young. Yeah. Hey, I, I had thoughts when I was like around that age as well. I mean, yeah, I had um, thoughts, but I never tried it until I was like 12. Well, it's because I, because it's probably because I just didn't know how. <laughs> <laughs> but, but anyways... Uh, let's see. I don't remember. I don't remember my, uh, first time exactly. But, uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, it was, it was legendary. That's all I can say. (laughs) Like, it started something that should have been never started. (laughs) Well, do you remember any of your, like your feelings like afterwards or like no? Uh The me now is the me now would probably be like heck yeah, but the me then would have probably been like what's happening? I don't Obviously I didn't tell anybody, but you know, I didn't know what was happening. Uh yeah, I like how this is, like, something, like, when you're young, you're like, I'm going to take this to my grave, but now we're putting it out on the internet for like, everyone yeah, to yeah, hear. Yeah, like, honestly, <laughs> like, I was just, like, just, like, when I was walking in the hallway, it's like, you know, hold on. I'd have to definitely, like, think on it a lot harder and, like, remember stories, but as for the first time, I was really young, and... You know, to me, to the little me, it was just like, man, this felt pretty good. I mean, Don't yeah. the next time I did it again, but uh, I know I definitely did it again. <laughs> and to that day, I never did it again. <laughs> I think, I think, really, the the first time is the only story that I would consider funny that I'd be willing to share. Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Damien, Damien knows uh, <laughs> the others. <laughs> I know Maybe one. Another time, Michael. I know one. Yeah, I can. <laughs> I can definitely see why you would definitely not share those. <laughs> can you share them with me after the podcast? Sure, I think you might actually know it too. I know if you if it's the one I'm thinking about, then maybe because I do know one. Um. <laughs> Hmm. Well, I guess that's the end of the podcast. Yep. Yeah. You know, we maybe... definitely have to come back to this topic because I just have to think on it more. Yeah, there's some other things I want to think about. I've never really tr- like because I never tried anything really different. Yeah. But I could probably have stories about some things I watched because I have seen some things that s- still scar me to this day. <laughs> Man, I don't know if you want to try anything different. That's how you end up with funny stories you can't share. <laughs> yeah, that's what it seems like. Well, it all depends on the person. Also, we just copied the, the, the official podcast. I mean, let's be realistic. How many podcasts have actually, you know... Yeah, but that's... but true. Okay, but be honest, though. That's, that's the official that's the podcast thing. Man. That's the yeah. That's it's it's their thing. Like, well, I mean, uh, there like, are podcasts that are like dedicated to stuff like this. Yeah, I know, but I mean, like, 
just like normal like talking podcasts that are just like group of friends talking. Yeah. That's kind of their thing of talking about masturbation stories. Every time they get someone, it's always just a highlight of the thing of what's your masturbation story. Like <laughs> like uh yeah, during the donkey one like <laughs> Like, they asked Dunky what's his favorite masturbation store, and he's like, you know, my wife told me that's just what they were going <laughs> to say. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, um, we, we, we forgot to mention today's sponsor. Um, cold, our left out peas. Mm, boy, let me have some of them. Mm. Mm, my today's God. sponsor oh, is water. Yeah. Yeah, oh, that reminds me. Dinner's yep. ready. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get water instead because Jesus Christ, don't, don't do peas that've been sitting out for an hour and they're like cold. Ugh. Well, all right. That, that's all. Bye bye.